Am I sounding good in the back there? You can hear me all right? Great. Glad to have each of you here today, especially want to welcome those who are visiting among us. And we keep having special friends come see us. When I have to say my, my daughter's best friend, I think, although she won't claim that, but they're, they're almost like sisters in Broken Bow, I thought. So, so we're glad to have Holly and, her, and one of her friends with us too. So welcome. Um, notice the announcements in your bulletin. Remember to vote. That's an important um, responsibility, I believe, of Christians nowadays. And we, we need to get out there and vote. Good values. Uh, Tuesday, and, and actually this is one of the polling stations I found out. So uh, we get to go to another United Methodist Church at Southgate. Uh, United Methodist Church is nearby where we live. So Notice... Uh, I financially support statement there by Jennifer. Appreciate that very much. And, uh, coffee and conversation. We did. We are changing one of these. Uh, so instead of November 19th at 7 o'clock, we're going to move it to November 18th at 3 o'clock. So, Diane, are you going to try to pass a thing around for that? Maybe. Yeah. There might be more of you that could sign up then, uh, we hope. Uh, so as it, pa it passes around, if it, the 18th works better for you a couple weeks from, from today at 3 o'clock. And we're looking forward to uh, the group this afternoon that have signed up. Uh, you'll, you'll note, now Jim, I heard, is might be going home soon. Did somebody tell me that? Yeah. Maybe Wednesday this week. Okay. So if you want to see him at uh, Tabitha, I better go soon. Sounds like, yeah. Uh, and, it, and we have a Christmas sleigh out there and a, and a bassinet again. A Christmas sleigh is for the food pantry and a bassinet for our diaper depot. So I want to just lift up. Uh, we are going to be celebrating uh, Veterans Day. It actually Sunday is Veterans Day uh, next Sunday, and so if you or if you know of veterans, be sure and invite them, especially to come. And uh, we want to honor uh, those who have given their lives and who are willing to serve uh, our country uh, this next coming Sunday. Any other announcements? Think of all right. Let's stand and. And greet one another and pass the peace of Christ. You guys set a date yet? July 20th. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. That's a, and where will it be? At Elkhorn Hills. Elkhorn Hills. Nice. Cool. Very cool. Please join me in the call to worship. We love you, Lord. With all our highest desires, our hearts. We love you, God. With all our deepest thoughts, our minds. We love you, Jesus. With all our unique personalities, our souls. We love you, Holy Spirit. With all our energy and power, our strength. In Jesus' name, amen. 
Please remain standing and join in our opening hymn for all the saints, six verses. For all the saints who from their labors rest, who by faith before the world confess thy name, O Jesus, be forever blessed. Alleluia, Alleluia. Lost the rock, their fortress and their might. The Lord, their captain, in the well fought fight. Though in the darkness drear, they want to lie. Soldiers faithful, true, and gold fight as the saints who nobly fought of old. When with them the victor's crown of gold. Communion, fellowship divine. We feebly struggle, they in glory shine. Yet all are one in thee, for all are thine. is fierce, the warfare long steals on thee the distant triumph song, and hearts of rave again, and arms are strong. Alleluia. Alleluia. From earth's wide bounds, from ocean's farthest coast, through gates of pearl streams, in the countless hope. Amen. You may be seated. One of the things I'd like to do today in celebrating All Saints Day as well, All Saints Day has traditionally been the first of, of November. So our first Sunday in November, we're remembering those who've gone before us. And a saint, according to the Bible, is anyone who believes in Jesus. Um, and that's how it's, it's defined in Scripture. So if you know of someone who believed in Jesus and has gone home to be with the Lord, I just invite you to name them. 
uh, here for a few minutes. Who are some people you know that have gone to be with the Lord, maybe recently? Say again. Cora, okay. Fred? Sarah's Abel, okay. And Andy? Ron? Carla? Okay. Yeah. Delia? Jack, Max, yeah, yeah, Gil, Gil Cargus, my dad, Gil Savory, yeah, what else? Jim, two, two, two Jims there, okay. All right, I'm sure there's others. We might want to name in our hearts, or if you want to let me know, write them down. I can uh, keep you in my thoughts, too. I said, we miss these folks, but we know, as the Scripture says, and as the song says, they in glory shine nowadays. So I know they're worshiping God today with us. I have listed here uh, brothers and sisters at... Uh, Pittsburgh Tree of Life Synagogue, uh, where lives were lost because of the shooting this past week. Uh, also pray for lives lost in yoga studio, shooting in Florida, also at the Kruger Market. Heal us from this hatred. That's good. good prayer for us that's going on in our country. Celebration of birth of a Great granddaughter, born October 30th. See, is it Ara? How do you pronounce it? Wendell, where'd you go? Doris? <laughs> uh, great granddaughter of uh, Doris and Wendell Smith. So, congratulations. Uh, McCall, I think, is the last name there. All right. Well, let's come to prayer now. May the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray together our prayer of confession, number 983, and we'll read this responsively. Lord, we confess our day-to-day -day failure to be truly human. Lord, we confess to you. Lord, we confess that we often fail to love with all that we have and are, often because we do not fully understand what loving means, often because we are afraid of risking ourselves. Lord, we confess to you. Lord, we cut ourselves off from each other and we erect barriers of division. Lord, we confess to you. Lord, we confess that by silence and ill-considered word, we have built up walls of prejudice. Lord, we confess that by selfishness and lack of sympathy, we have sinful generosity, left little time for others. Holy Spirit, speak to us. Help us listen to your word of forgiveness, for we are very hard of hearing. Come, fill this moment, and free us from sin. Amen. Lord, we praise you for loving us so much, desiring a relationship with us that is forever. Lord, for those who have gone home to be with you, we praise you for their lives and their faith, their heritage of love and kindness and peace that they shared with us that um, 
Many of them who may have suffered on this earth are suffering no more. We thank you and we praise you for each one. We do pray for this world, for the hatred that is here, the sin that continues to destroy lives, families. We trust you, Lord, to make all things right, to bring peace to this earth, peace to the world, and draw people to yourself. We celebrate the birth of a new great-granddaughter for, for the Smiths. And pray your blessing on that family. For these and others we lift before you, we pray in Jesus' name. You taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Good morning. As we worship this morning, let us think and reflect on God's love and how great that is for us, and how he shows that to us in our lives every day. Please rise and join us.
seated for a second song.
would invite the children to come forward for our children's time, please. And let's uh, sing together, Jesus Loves Me. All right. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. What's it to say? That's oh, okay. You can sit here. They are weak, but good morning. Give me five. All right. Five, 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 five. All right. Good job. There we go. Give me five. All right. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Well, we're going to think a little bit this morning about rules. What are the rules? Jesus called them commandments. What are the rules for your classroom, say, Sunday school, or maybe you have another classroom, a preschool or school? What are the rules? Can you tell me some rules? Have coolidge and be kind. Okay. What was that first part? Have, have Kool-Aid? No. 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 <laughs> courage. courage. I got it. Okay, have courage, be kind, okay. Now, is everybody supposed to be talking at once in the classroom? No. No? Got to listen, right? Listen to the teacher. What else? Um, treat others how you want to be treated. Oh, that's a good rule. Treat others how you want to be treated. I think that's in the Bible, too. Yeah, good. What else? What, are, what other rules are that you know? Play with each other. Play with each other. That's a good thing. That's what you play ball with each other. That's right. That's cool. Well, there's two rules, only two, that Jesus wants us to remember. One is to love God with everything you got. And the other, whoops, I'm falling apart. And the other is to love your neighbor, to love others like we love ourselves, okay? So what is it? Love, love who first? Love everyone. Love God first, and then love Everyone, right? Yeah. And Jesus wants us to love God with our whole heart. Now, I'm not talking about the thing in your chest, that, that organ. I mean, what do you want? You want to want, you want to love God, right? Yeah. It's your wants. Now, do you want to talk to God more than you want to watch cartoons? Uh, I'll have to think about that. Do you want to, you want God more than you want candy? Mmm, they have to think about that too. Yeah. Oh yes, that could happen. You could lose your teeth too if you eat too much of that. Yeah. But it's good to love God with our whole heart, our whole mind. He says, "What you think about?" Yeah. Yeah, your whole soul. That's who you are. All right. So uh, those are just two things: love God and love people. Remember that. Should we pray? Thank you, Jesus, for the rules that you give us for life and that they're good for us and best for us. Help these children to love you with all they are and all they have, uh, Lord, with their whole selves, even their wants, and, uh, and the other people as well. So when they loved you, they can't help but love others. So we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Got something special for you there as we sing some more. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Thanks to the praise band for sharing their gift of music with us, and thanks for the kids for coming forward and sharing their thoughts with us this morning. Just a reminder, before we come to our time of giving with our tithes and offerings to sign the attendance pads that are located in your pews if you haven't already we remember all the saints who have gone before us 
and we give to keep the church going that they loved. Will the ushers please come at this time? God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all <clears throat> bless Him. Praise Him, all of the heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Precious Lord, we praise you for how you're going to use these gifts to bring a greater and greater love for you, God. In your precious name, Lord Jesus, amen. Won't you please be seated? First scripture reading this morning comes from Revelations 21, verses 1 through 6. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself <clears throat> excuse me, will be with them. 
He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, For these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. So ends the first scripture reading. Amen. I want to invite you to stand in honor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as we read the good news of the gospel from Mark chapter 12, beginning in verse 28. One of the scribes came near and heard them disputing with one another, and seeing that he answered them well, he asked him, which commandment is first of all? Jesus answered, The first is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater commandment than these. Then the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have said that he is the one, and besides him there is no other. And to love him with all the heart, with all the understanding, with all the strength, and to love one's neighbor as oneself. This is much more important than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. Then Jesus saw that he answered, when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. After that, no one dared to ask him any questions. May God bless this reading to our understanding. You may be seated. There was an old preacher who liked to tell the story of when he was little, and his parents were talking about this, and he used to uh, grab his daddy's hand with his little finger as they were walking. And, but it, from time to time, he would stumble and fall, and, um, and Dad one, one time said, you know, son, it, it might be better if you, you, you grab my whole hand. Uh, and he said when he held Dad's whole hand, he never fell again. Do we realize that it is God who is holding us up? And are we holding God with our pinky? <laughs> and, you know, maybe not. Or have we grabbed God's whole hand? Do we realize that without him we would fall? You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. I remember uh, as we were teaching our kids to, to walk, um, they'd hold both hands up, you know, because they would just take one step at a time as we held, held their hands. And even after they uh, didn't really need us, and you know, from time to time I'd, we'd let go, or let go of one hand, or, uh, and, and all of a sudden they realized they're actually walking without us. But even long after they learned how to walk, they were still holding their hands up as they walked. <laughs> and maybe God was holding their hands then, right? Because I believe God wants to hold up all of us kids. Are we reaching out for God? Do we love him with our whole heart, with our whole desire? If you love someone, you want to be with them, right? You know, I know when Diane and I first started dating, uh, we wanted to be with each other all the time. And I think uh, for several weeks, every weekend, we'd do something, 
right? Go together, uh, have a date. Do you love God like that? Do you, do you love God enough that you want to be with him? <laughs> you want to spend time with him? How much do you really love God? I think that's a challenge uh, for us all. You know, babies also have this annoying habit, and I remember, especially uh, I suppose that first baby you remember the most, and, and uh, whenever uh, Tim would be in the room and I would leave the room, he'd start to cry. Because <laughs> it was important for him that I was there with him. It's that, uh, that annoying habit, right, babies have, that we cry they cry when we leave the room. Do we miss God when he is absent, or we feel absent from him? The scripture also said, and Jesus says, and you need to love God with all your mind. John Wesley loved God with all his mind, and he taught all of his preachers to love to learn, you know, and even those who are on horseback, they would ride their horses reading a book. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll show you the volume of John Wesley's works if you want to sometime in my office. Uh, he certainly loved God with all his mind and actually he had many degrees from Oxford, not just uh, anything to do with religion. He had biology and math and several degrees as well. There's been studies done that United Methodist preachers are the second most educated preachers in the world. Guess who the first are? Presbyterians. <laughs> they love God with all their mind. Yes, they do, those Presbyterians. Yeah. You know, it may be easy for us to love God but that, those other people, do I have to love them? <laughs> do I have to love him? And do I have to love her? You know, we have those people in our lives that just, they're just very difficult to love. W.H. Arden once paraphrased this verse. Uh, love your crooked neighbor with all your crooked heart. <laughs> we have to remember that we're crooked too. <laughs> We have problems too, and we're a person for whom Christ died, and so are they. Someone for whom Christ died and loved. Yeah, Todd, well that's really, really syrupy and lovey-dovey, but the real world is making money, right? Making things, having things, making money. There was a story of uh, father and his son, they were vegetable farmers, and they were bringing their, their uh, vegetables to market one day, and uh, had a, quite a, a long trip into the city, but the, the son thought, we've got to get there early so we can get our place, you know, if you get the, the best uh, spot, you can sell more vegetables and make more money. But the father just kept delaying the trip, you know. He had uh, people he needed to talk to along the side of the road, and he got to a fork in the road, and one way would have been faster to get to the city, and the other was beautiful. It had beautiful flowers and scenery, and, and so the father chose that way, and the son was, oh no, dad, you can't do that. We gotta get there. Gotta get to the city, we gotta make money. And then he stopped at his his brother's house, his son's uncle's house, and they spent some time, had some coffee and, and some time together. And by this time, the son was really getting upset. You know, dad was wasting all this time that they could be selling. They could have sold it all by now, he said. We could have been on our way home. But then they got to the rise that overlooked the city. And then the son was glad that his father had delayed their trip by spending time loving God's creation, loving people, 
because the city they were going to was Hiroshima. Or somebody, some call it Hiroshima. You remember what happened? See, they, they'd seen the flash of light and the son was glad then that they hadn't got there so soon. Do we love God or do we love things? Are we trying to get ahead? Or do we love the one who is forever? So I want to invite you, as you partake of this meal where we had prepared for us by Jesus, to remember how much he loves you, enough to die for you, to think about how we could love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength. And you know, if you love God that way, you can't help but loving other people because that's, <laughs> that's who God loves, is other people. So I'd invite you to a time of prayer and I'd like to begin by singing a prayer. And if you know this song, sing it with me. Uh, but just others might just want to sing this in your heart. I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to worship you. Oh, my soul rejoice. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. May it be a sweet, sweet sound in your Lord, we do love you, and we praise you. For we remember how on the night when all of your followers, even your closest friends, left, abandoned you, you took bread, you broke it, you gave it to your followers, you said, this is my body that is broken for you. Eat this in remembrance of me, how much I love you. And you also took the cup after supper and blessed it and gave it to your followers. You said, this is my blood of the new covenant that is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. And you said, drink of this, all of you. I love you. We remember those stripes in your back. We remember those crown of thorns in your head. The nails in your hands and feet. You loved us. And even more that you took on upon you our rightful punishment, rightful separation from you forever. You loved us. You wanted us. How can we praise you more? So these gifts are prepared for us to share today, remembering his love and giving thanks to God for all that he gives us, that he 
shares with us. So uh, remember, we're receiving these gifts because uh, we don't, we haven't earned them. <laughs> They're a gift. Jesus didn't have to go to the cross for us, but he did. So we receive, we receive the bread, we receive the cup today as the servers share them with you. So I invite our servers to come at this time and we can share with one another. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving yourself for us. And now we give ourselves for others as you strengthen us to do so in your precious name. Amen. So I invite you to stand as you are able as we sing, come, let us join our friends above, number 709. join our friends above who have obtained the prize and on the eagle wings of love to joy celestial rise let saints on earth unite to sing with those to glory God. For all the servants of our King in earth and heaven are one. One family we dwell in Him, one church above beneath. Though now divided by the stream, the narrow stream of death, one army of the living God, to his command we bow. Part of his host have crossed the flood and part are crossing now. Ten thousand to their endless hope this solemn moment fly. And we are to the margin come and we expect to die. E'en now by faith we join our hands with those that went before and greet the blood besprinkled hands on the eternal shore. Our spirits too shall quickly join like theirs with glory crown and shout to see our captain sigh to hear his trumpet sound. Oh, that we now might grasp our God, oh, that the word were given. Come, Lord of hosts, 
the waves divide and land us all in hell. And now, dear Lord, send us forth with that great love for you and for all the saints who've gone before us. We are one in communion, in praise and thanksgiving to you, our great God, who will help us in this day, in this moment, until we meet again with all those who've gone before. So we go in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.